Okay, good afternoon everyone. So today's experiment is acid-base titration using pH meter and pH paper. So as you know that this experiment contains equipments, material, discussion, procedure and calculation. And uh, as far as equipments are concerned, it, which is available in front of your place. So that is pH meter and glass electrode, beakers, pipette, etc. Whereas the materials are concerned, you need hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, and indicator chart and uh, discussion is see here you are supposed to know what is pH so pH is nothing but negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration so you need to define this and when you want to solve the exercise you need to apply this formula and you know pH of water is always 7 which is called as a neutral and lesser than that it, it will be acid above that it will be base now the procedure is concerned, so uh, let me just concentrate there. Okay, guys, please come forward. You have two beakers in front of you, so two beakers. In one beaker, first the glassware you need to clean up. So let me clean this. Cleaning method is like this. Take a little water and rinse it out. Clean it. And another beaker. So just clean it. And in one beaker, take 5 ml of acid. So this is 5, 5 ml pipette. 0 to 5. I am taking 5 ml of acid in one beaker. And in another beaker, take sodium hydroxide, complete sodium hydroxide, and go back to your place. Now, so this is your pH meter, and now there is acid inside the beaker. Just you need to dip this pH paper inside this, and now just compare the readings. Compare the readings from the universal indicator chart. See, now I am comparing it. So now you have to decide what is it. What colors is this? Maybe it is 2, is it? So you need to write it. See, all the four colors are matched. This is 2. So you need to write it in your book. So here there is a book. So you need to add. So when you are added 0 ml of sodium hydroxide, and then the pH paper says it is 2. You are supposed to write it 2. So I am writing here 2. This is pH paper. And now, this pH paper you need to clean up. You need to clean up and then keep it somewhere. Now dip the glass electrode. See, when you dip, check the reading here. Check the reading. When, it, the, when the pH meter says ready, you have to take the record the reading in your manual. Wait for some time so that this will give ready. So now the pH meter, it gives the reading. When it gives ready, you have to write it there. Wait for some time so that it will give the readings. there did you check the ready so it is 3.51 okay so now you have to add take the pipette take the pipette it's here so now you have to add 0 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide see I am adding 0 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide now you have to add and then after Again, once again, after adding 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide, see, now you need to match up. 
when you compare this again it will be 2 isn't it 1 R2 take the highest reading so you have to record once again here 2 this is 0 0.5 an addition of 0 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide and this will be 3.51 now again you have to clean this and now pH beta reading see pass ready come friend and just take is it did you observe ready there so now you 3.46 you have to record here 3.46 so like this you have to continuously on addition of 0 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide you have to take the reading for pH paper as well as pH meter let me let me just explain more detail here see here as you add 0 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide on addition of sodium hydroxide you will get the readings continuously like this so initially in the beginning you will get 2 for pH paper 2 2 2 this is just I am showing for example so 2 2 2 again 3 3 4 and suddenly you will get the jump there is a huge uh, huge difference in the reading see 4 to 8 when you get this then what you are you are doing is correct you understood so now here also for pH meter also so when you add 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide it will be 3.59 again 0.5 ml 3.79 7.1 like this the values always in the beginning it is almost same see 3.59 3.71 3.90 like this and Afterwards, after some reading, then the value will be sudden change, 4.9 to 9.0, is it? So when you get the, there is a huge difference in the pH meter reading, then whatever you are doing is correct. And again afterwards, almost same you get, isn't it? Now see the graph here. So in the graph, when you plot volume of sodium hydroxide versus pH meter, as well as volume of sodium hydroxide versus pH paper, see? The points when you apply, you will get the graph like this. And there is pH 7. For the pH 7, draw the line towards the curve and then draw the perpendicular line. And the line which meets to the x-axis, that is volume of sodium hydroxide. So this is VB. This is volume of base 4.5. So you need to apply in the calculation. See the calculation here? Na, normality of acid. Volume of acid is equal to normality of base, volume of base. Now you need to calculate normality of acid. And normality of base taken is 0 0.5. And volume of base is from the graph. pH paper as well as pH meter. Okay. The value is 4.5. So 4.5 and the volume of acid is taken is 5. Then finally when you calculate this, you will get the normality. Maybe it is 0 0.09 or 0 0.1. Whatever you get, that is the final calculation. You need to produce this result either today or in the examination.